Let's show you how to take bookings with your Google Calendar and also embed that Google Calendar into your website. So if you actually go to your Google Calendar and then go to the Create button and then go to Appointment Schedule, this is going to bring up an option for you to be able to create a full appointment schedule that you can embed on your website or use a standalone page. So let's go ahead and go through it really quickly. You can come in and title it, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna go ahead and just go new for simplicity purposes today. And then you can also set the appointment duration. You can set a general availability on your schedule, whether it wants to repeat it weekly, custom, whether it's monthly or yearly, or it does not repeat, basically telling it, hey, when do you want to accept bookings? And you can also set your days and times in here. You can set your schedule window as far as how soon can they book and how far out they can book. You can adjust your availability. You can come in and edit your booked appointment settings. You can add your calendars so it goes to different calendars. You can add co-hosts. So if there's additional people that need to be in this meeting, you can actually do that. So you can go through and add and customize your settings. You can also go through and set up your booking photo and the name. So basically what the photo is going to show and the name for the booking appointment, as well as the location, you can come set up a Google meet. You can set an in-person meeting. You could set a phone caller and you could do a none to be speci specified later. Uh, and then you can also go into your booking form and you can come and add new forms or new questions. So basically new questions on like whatever you want them to answer and fill out in the booking form when they're booking. You can also set all of that right here. You can come in and set your payments and cancellation. So you can actually get paid in advance by debit or credit card using Google Calendar's Stripe integration. So you can actually come in and collect payments through Stripe on Google Calendars when people are booking with you. You can also set your cancellation policy and then your booking confirmations and reminders. You can set up so where Google Calendar will automatically send them an email reminder one day before or how many days you set, as well as you can set multiple notifications here. Once you click save, you're essentially done with the first part. This now you'll be able to see on the calendar that the schedule was created. You can either open the booking page, which will open kind of like its own standalone URL, or you can click this share button. If you click the share button, you have the option to get that link, or you can get this website code here. You can do a button or you can do an inline to embed it. All you have to do is copy that code and then go over to wherever you built your website at. So, Wherever you want to embed this, you basically want to open it up. Here we have a cleaning business website on Socially Verse. <clears throat> Let's say we want to go ahead and create an embed for this Google Calendar. We're going to go grab that widget in the widgets panel. We're going to drag and drop it, and we're going to enter our code. And as you can see, once I've entered that, it's showing that, oh, nothing has been found yet. So let's jump back to here and debug this. We're going to go ahead and once again, grab this code and then walk over here and copy and paste it. Code and paste. So boom, there we go. So as you can see, that is actually a black background. So what we actually have to do is we can edit this code to appear how we want. And a lot of times what I recommend is if you actually just take that code, head over to ChatGPT and basically say, hey, I want to change this code to have a white background or a black background or whatever you want it to do and tell ChatGPT to do that, it'll actually go ahead and do that for you. So real quickly, I went ahead and did that while I was just explaining that and Let's go ahead and copy and paste ChatGPT's response. And boom. So I basically just told ChatGPT to give me a white background on that code. And it did that. So now we can come in here and adjust the sizing. Maybe we want to make this bigger. As you can see, it's cutting off. So I can actually come in here and edit this code. And you can see the height is set to 600. Maybe I want to make it taller. I can change it to 700, 800. Or if you want to make it just fill the box that it's in, which is what we recommend a lot of times, all you have to do is make it 
and boom, now it's going to fill this whole area. So there we have added our Google Calendar basically to our website and integrated it all. So once again, all you have to do is create the calendar, grab the booking code, and then go paste it directly wherever you want on your website. And if you want to edit the background or edit the sizing of the code, you can then do that. And then once you click save, it's basically done. Let me go ahead and go back to this and refresh. Now you can see on the website here, we have that booking calendar. So we just created this. This is that calendar that we just created. And now people have the option to basically flip through the days in the calendar to book an appointment. Let's say I want to go that one and I want to enter my information and I want to go book. Boom. It says it's been booked and it adds this to my calendar. It also adds it to the user who booked the appointment and puts it in all of your calendars to be basically visible, be seen. And any calendars that's integrated with Google Calendar will also now show this booking appointment. The cool part is if you didn't want to stop there and you want to do additional automations, you could set up kind of like an automation with Zapier on a new Google event to basically trigger. So when that event gets created, you could then set up any automation with 7,000 different applications on Zapier to basically automate various different things. So let's say someone made a booking appointment. You want to find that user that's in your website, and then you want to basically update their contact with the tag. And then from there, you could basically have another automation set up that says once they get updated with that tag, send them this email or send them this SMS or have a delay until this date or many other automation options. So it's very cool. And that's kind of like the start of the possibility where you can actually just take your Google Calendar, embed it on your website so people can book. And then from there, you could basically automate your entire business and booking flow with 7,000 different applications to create millions of different automations. But overall, that was just kind of like a quick video going over and showing you and walking through how you can actually create a Google Calendar and embed it directly on your website to take bookings. If you have any questions, just let us know.